Hi YouTube, welcome back. I'm wearing a turtleneck and it's absolutely strangling the living daylights out of me. But it's part of a cold, so I'm gonna have to wear it. I'm gonna do a weekly vlog so you can see what I get up to. Today I'm going with Mills, she's doing a podcast, which you'll see. And we're going out for dinner. So that's what's going on really. My makeup was so good until I put this top on and it just took it all off. So that's unreal. Wow, it's actually choking me. This is my outfit for anyone who cares. I think it makes me look like I've had a little BBL. <laughs> So we're here in West London, or I can't remember where I am. The gang's here! Where we used to live here, guys. Yeah. Okay. I used to live here. Kyron, Oliver. I'm here to supervise Millie's podcast so she doesn't say anything awful. Slash came for the booze. <laughs> got a bottle of vodka. Great, that's fun. Okay. Excuse me, miss. Can you check my marks, please? Can you check my marks, please? I need to sharpen my pencil. I can't because you've got chronic diarrhea. <laughs> um, time for a bit of oversharing. Um, the diarrhea reference was because I ate a dodgy curry and then I drank five month old water. So I gave myself chronic diarrhea for eight days to the point where every half an hour I'd get really bad abdominal pains and then just shit my brains out. So. This is this is the content it's relatable. Yeah, to be fair, everyone was like, buy a modium, and I was like, not sure, never done it. Then I bought a modium and it's changed my life. Sometimes, like I went out the other day and I was like, I'm gonna take a modium because I don't want to do a poo. I've got a double chin in this top. I literally look like the nutty professor. <laughs> the nutty professor. I wanna kill my mom. I wanna kill my. Drive all the way, seven minutes. <gasps> seven minutes. You wanna go? <laughs> this is the tapeworm in my intestines right now. What's <laughs> going on? I'm in a taxi on the way to the venue in my. Nun outfit. Oh. This is Drink Me again. Here we are. I'm at Ed's birthday. This is Ed. Ed! It's your birthday. That's Emma. Go! Get your tattoo out. Come on. Ah. Snail trail. And here's Nicole. Wibble tattoo. Travel. If anyone's single and got a big chin <laughs> up. One time Scott went on a date in the rain and he made the girl give him her coat. <laughs> This is a drunk vlog. How did this is a, <laughs> This is a big log on the big vlog. <laughs> Who is that? Who is that? Oh, Hi guys, it's the next day. I'm Hi hanging guys, it's the next day. off. Hi I'm guys. <laughs> and I'm hanging up my arsehole. Our heating's broke, so but the radiator's leaking all over the shop, which is just fing unreal. Is it? So I'm about to go to Wembley Box Park so I'm going with Google Pixels going much England, USA and World Cup. I need these, these are my keys. I'm gonna go pick up Emma, so. Okay, my hangover's gone. I'm at Box Park with Google Pixel. I had no idea it was like this. Absolutely crazy. Wow. Okay, so I'm actually back home. Now, I just had to get my dress like tailored because I got an extra small, which fits my waist, but my boobs, absolutely no go. I need eight centimeters of fabric, so she's gonna try and do something today. And then I'll probably have to drive back to Bista Monday or Tuesday, just see if it fits, because my dad's wedding is on Saturday. Lol. But yeah, I've just had a little tidy in my room. It's really not that tidy, but not in the mood. But me and Mel's got our Christmas decks delivered today from the range, so I think we're gonna put them up. So I'll vlog our little Christmassy day. I think Lucinda's coming later, but I'll FaceTime her now, see if she's coming. Right, well, last night I was with Millie and Lucinda, but guess what happened? I had two glasses of wine and I fell asleep. I fucking fell asleep. So they had a really good time and I didn't. This is my outfit of the day. I'm going to my friend Zena's leaving drinks. I can't find my fucking car keys, so let's find them first. I am at Zena's leaving drinks. First of all, she set aside up four. I got her at half four mm. thinking kill me she wasn't here it's now five o'clock you can't see that it's five o'clock and they've not she paid 100 but we're at baba oasis in islington she paid a big deposit for the rooftop terrace private tables they've accidentally got two events on and in a minute there's going to be an inspirational talk <laughs> i've ordered a spicy margarita why is it spicy hey peeps so it's 9.55 on Monday morning. I went to bed at 2 a.m. and I bloody forgot. Well, I didn't forget. I did organize it myself. And now I'm really pissed off that I did this. Basically, I got my dress for my dad's wedding. I need to get it, well, I had to get it tailored Saturday morning, um, which I did. And now 
I'm back in Vista, which this morning, ah, get on your side of the road. Anyways, I got this dress for my dad's wedding, I'm a bridesmaid, and it fit me like perfectly in the waist, like everywhere else, except for my boobs are too big, <coughs> which is just unreal. I drive all the way to Vista Friday night, and now I'm back bloody Monday morning before 10am to go and just try it on to see if anything else is wrong with it before the wedding because the wedding's on Saturday. I regret saying I would do this. Like, I'm so f tired. I'm on my period, so I'm in a bad mood anyways. And everyone this morning has driven so shit. Every driver on the road this morning has driven f***ing shit. I thought I'd get myself a McDonald's breakfast to cheer me up and... So I did that and it didn't even touch the sides. I didn't even need it. So now I'm annoyed at myself that I ate a bloody McDonald's breakfast this morning for like no fucking apparent reason. So yeah, then I'm gonna drive all the way back to Essex. Like genuinely, who wanted to do four hours of driving today? Not me. And also, just to top it off, if you've got a new diesel car, I think this is like a fact for everyone, but you have to put Add Blue in it, which does something to like the diesel exhaust. And I need to put Add Blue in it. Why only put it in the other day and that's because the person at Halfords sold me like the small one which obviously I should have known that's not 13 litres so now I'm annoyed at myself for buying that I'm also watching this car not move over okay they've just moved over because I'm on a bloody country lane and my tyres are saying they need air I've never put air in my fucking tyres so I'm gonna have to go stop at my mum's and our boiler's still not fixed so I'm actually gonna have a shower at my mum's because I've actually I'm gonna admit this I've not showered since probably Saturday morning, which is disgusting. It's now Monday. That's rank of me. But we have no hot water, we don't even have any heating or anything like that. So at the end of the day, this is a bad Monday. Me and Millie are putting our Christmas tree up later, so that should be good. And actually another thing that's annoyed me, I ordered a bloody charger for this camera off Amazon and they left it outside the front door in the rain. So, I mean, odds on that working aren't very fucking high, are they? Today is not my pissing day. Okay, I'm back. Um, you guys will never guess what. I obviously went to the dress fitting and I took the dress off. Obviously, it didn't fit me. It was too small. I take the dress off and I realise the reason why it doesn't f***ing fit me is because it's a UK size 4. I've got my sister's dress and so she had her dress and she had it taken in so much. And the woman said to me, you're so lucky that your sister's dress needed taken in so much because I've had to use that fabric in your dress. So all of me driving around, spending money and all that, was literally because me and my sister had the wrong dress. So neither of them would have needed altering. But anyways, we move. I'm on my way back to Essex now. And I'll be back on Friday, but obviously that's because the wedding is on Saturday. But yeah, I also stopped at my mum's because I had to put Add Blue in my car. I bought like these two 3.5 litre like things, um, put them in my car, and then the sign wouldn't go down. I was like, for fuck's sake. Like that, so it said I needed 13 litres, so I put seven in theoretically so i went to a garage and just picked up some more another five liters put that in and the sign still wouldn't go down but i think it must take a while for it to like filter i don't fucking know i had to do that and then i got my mom's boyfriend richard to put some air in my tires because one of the pressures was low but then all of the pressures went low so yeah really good day it's heading back now i stayed at my mom's longer because millie texted me to say boiler man who is an absolute Pagan. Basically, he was meant to come on Friday at three o'clock. Didn't turn up at three. Ring the company and they'll always like, oh, on another job. We'll ring him. So then he rings and he's like, "Oh yeah, sorry, can't come. The bits are out of stock." And we're like, "No, they're not." Like, king came out and told us that you already had them. Anyways, then he said he'd come Monday morning at ten a.m. Guess what? He's not fucking come. I've got wow, an hour and a half drive. Unreal. Traffic must be shit. It's just what I wanted. Catch up for you when I'm back in Essex. Okay, I made it back to Essex in one piece. And look what we're doing. Merry Christmas. The range has kindly gifted probably every Christmas item in the store. <laughs> I am on bauble sorting duties. Millie is assembling the Don Dada tree there. So much stuff. They sent us a little mug. And my favorite, this train. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out the range on the Chrissy Deckies. Look how Christmassy. This is, it took us an hour and 10 minutes and I smashed about 20 million baubles. Yes. Which is good. This is the tree, look. Yeah, 
that's all rubbish. And we've got a little butterflies at the top. Still trying to find a home for my train, um, but I'll get back to you when, when he's set up and ready. <laughs> Morning peeps, I'm just having a bagel and the boiler man are finally here. Seven days. Okay, hi, that's Rachel Leary in the background that I just binge watch all the time. If you ever just have a YouTuber that you literally just watch all of their videos over and over, like I wish she did more cooking ones. Anyways, I digress, I'm getting distracted. I have got my makeup and hair done because I need to take some pics for an ad. So I'm just waiting for Daisy to come. We're not gonna do loads today, I'm not in the mood. Anyways, so that's what's going on. Um, I got a huge delivery from JD. I got a green juicy tracksuit, which is one that I've wanted for ages. I just feel like green and blonde. It's f***ing stunning. I got this sick juicy coat, like a puffer jacket. And then I got some pink soda, like gym bits, a night coat that is like a Sherpa lining. And these cute air forces with a pink tick. I would do your haul, but I don't want to ruin the surprise because they come with other stuff. Like I've got them for reasons. I haven't just got them to have them, do you know what I mean? So I'm going to save them. Just ordered some heels for my dad's wedding because I ordered some and I'd rather dye them wear these. Oh, where are they? Okay, I found them. Fucking kitten heel. One thing about me is I will never, ever wear a kitten heel. So let's never wear them. Oh, I can't. I don't know. I'm gonna have to order some like Perspex ones or something. I wanted silver, but I've just realised all my jewellery is gold. It's all from Astrid and Miu. Apart from that, that's what I got pierced with. Really pleased with those horrible shoes. I mean, if you want to wear kitten heels, go ahead. But I personally think it should be made illegal. Also, my hair needs to be done next week because that's my actual hair there. I was gonna cut it all off, but I've got some holidays coming, like going to Dubai for New Year's Eve, then I'm going somewhere else I can't tell you, and then I'm going somewhere else I can't. Wow, I hate when people do that. Because yeah, I've got a couple trips, a couple holidays, two, one holiday, two trips coming. Um, so I thought short hair that I haven't had long and I don't know how to style, I might get upset. <laughs> Who likes my outfit, although I wish the jumper was a different colour, but that's why I wore my grey night dunks. Fun story, JD gave these to me when I signed with them over a year ago, which is really fun. But I need to go to Tesco's and then I also need to go to B&M because I smashed this thing that Millie bought and I really have felt bad about it so I'm going to try and replace it. And then yeah, I might get some pickies in this outfit because I think I look really cool. Agree to disagree if you don't. Got my little Fendi bag. Someone asked for a review of this, right? It doesn't have a zip, so... Stuff falls out of it all the time. So that's really annoying. I'm also with Daisy, look here she is. We just had the cutest thing. Our neighbour from across the road just dropped us off one of these candles. That's my hand for reference. And it also so weighs the trim. same as me. Anyway, it's a very cute gesture. I'll be having a glass of wine now. <laughs> Obviously. Hey guys, it's Tuesday evening. What I, am. I just watched episode one of Wednesday and I fell asleep 10 million times trying to watch it. But I'm just with days we're getting into bed. Look at her t-shirt. Don't do wifey sh for a f boy. Ain't that some sh bitch? Wow, don't ever do that again. <laughs> Good morning. It's I'm like 10, quarter past 10 on it's a day today. It's Wednesday. Oh my god, runny nose. Why? Anyways, I'm up now. I've actually been up since 8 because days had to leave work. I just couldn't get out of bed. I was just watching TikTok, obviously, what else would I be doing? Um, God, I look rough. Anyways, I'm in my dressing gown. I'm just about to do my hair. Then I'm going to go sign up to a gym. Because I f***ing need to go to the gym. Then me and Millie have got a psychic reading, which I'm really excited about. They're really big on Instagram. I can't remember what they're called. I'll ask Millie in a bit. We're going to do that. And then we're going to the Stranger Things experience. So I'm actually about to have a very f***ing good day. Hey, peeps. It's your girl, Claude. I'm in Mel's car. Hello. She's got a hammer. She's <laughs> doing broad day booting. We had our reading. It was very surreal and insightful. There's no way any of it could have been a guess. What about you, Mills? It was one part that you know what part I'm talking about that she just had spot on as well. Yeah. No, I couldn't actually believe how true it was. One bit did concern me, but I won't bring it up. But we are now off to the Stranger Things experience, which we're very excited about because we are two of their biggest fans. So we're going to go do that. It's a very wholesome day we've had, actually. Yeah. I think we'll have wine tonight. I can't, I'm driving. No, when we get in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you know someone commented on my TikTok? Was, yeah. All they do is drink wine and annoy me. So I just replied, go away! Oh. Right, we are here. It's creepy as fuck, I can't lie. Okay. Don't, is it scary? Because I hate scary things. Oh, I'm probably going to cry. And in VHS recorders are so advanced these days, it's 
It's best for everyone if we keep those secure while you're in the lab. So with that out of the way, on behalf of everyone here at Hawkins Lab, welcome. Wait a damn minute. Nah, this is sick. Look. Oh, Fight Claw. What's that? The scoops are Oh, man. the little thing that they were. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, wow. Basically, me and Mills had um, decorations put up. Yep, yeah, still got my spray tan, still going strong. Um, decorations put up, like, outside the front of the house, and then they did some inside, but they came to do all the front of the house stuff, which I'll show you more. I think Millie will show you on Instagram. I just can't be asked. It's really cold. Yeah, we had these decorations put up, and then the lady was coming to give us the wreath for the table. I fell asleep on the sofa, like I must be shattered. I woke up and the door was ringing, but you know we were half asleep, like half of my body was still asleep. So I've like got up and I'm dreaming and I've gone to the door and I'm like speaking gibberish. But I knew I was speaking gibberish and this lady had this, like her name's Faye, had this lovely like thing for the table. And I was just like, and I was thinking, oh my God, speak properly, speak properly. And she was like, oh my God, are you okay? And then she like helped like grab my arm because I must have been like, Falling asleep and then I've woken up. But anyways, this is the thing for the table. It's all pink to match all Mills's like inside bits. I go back to sleep. Hey guys, oh, oh, let me turn off. So I'm just listening to Max Belegde and George Clark's new podcast it's called The Useless Hotline. It's bloody funny. But this is me. I'm just making dinner, right? Millie makes, well, I've not tried it, a famous like creamy salmon pasta. So, but she's had to go out. She had a dog. She wanted to drop a dog off and then I think she got an appointment. So I was like, I'll make, wow, my town is. Dark. She's gone, so I was like, oh, I'll make dinner. I've done what a creamy salmon pasta, but I googled a thing and it was like red pepper, creamy salmon pasta, but then now I've looked at the recipe, I thought it said red peppers, but it said get 200 milliliters of roasted red peppers, no, 200 grams, and I've not done that, I've just put in peppers. Anyway, so I've added and added, and it just like, you know when dinner's just not giving? This is what it looks like. Yeah. Oh, God, it's hot. Just waiting for Mills to come back, so. Okay, I was gonna vlog tomorrow, but I can't be asked. So that is the end of this vlog. I hope you guys love, a little insight into what goes on in mine and Mills' life, really. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.